Family and friends of an elderly woman with Alzheimer's wanted to see the man who sexually assaulted her go to prison, but that's not going to happen. As 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti tells us, the judge in this case had plenty to say to the defendant. As Gilbert McCauley stood in court, the judge about to sentence him wasn't hiding his disgust. I'm at a loss for words here. The 27-year-old from Warren pled guilty in April to gross sexual imposition for assaulting a 93-year-old dementia patient in his care while working as a nurse at the Camelot Arms facility on the west side of Youngstown. That, in fact, has made this a crime because she was not able to consent to doing anything with this defendant sexually. This woman's 93 years old. My mother's 93 years old. At one point, McCauley tried to apologize to the victim's family. It was not my place. I was in a position of power and a position of no trust. No sitting Dick Tracy. Friends of the victim, who passed away in February, tell me what makes this case even more disturbing is knowing who McCauley assaulted the mother of his own stepmother. The fact that he had called this same woman grandmother, grown up calling her grandmother throughout his life. You should sit in the penitentiary for a while. That's what I think. But Judge Scott Crisbaum admits regardless of his own feelings, McCauley's charge is a lower level felony and state sentencing guidelines require counseling if it's available instead of time behind bars. Still, he warned the defendant he would go to prison for 18 months if he gets in trouble again. You look me in the eye and you understand that I'm a man of my word, you're going down. Afterward, the victim's sister tells me she's disappointed in the outcome. I would like to have seen him spend some time in jail anyway with someone correcting him like 24 hours a day. Instead, McCauley was labeled a tier one sex offender and placed on community control for the next five years. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.